For over 8,000 years, we've been plowing dirt to grow our food. In fact, we've gotten so good at it that over 80% of the world's farmable land is already in use. By 2050, we can expect another 3 billion people on planet Earth to join us for dinner. It's another China and India. On average, in the United States, produce travels 1,500 miles from farm to plate, losing valuable nutrients and tastes along the way. So how can we improve our food while continuing to feed the hungry masses? One answer is vertical farming. Summerlin, California, known for its eclectic shops and restaurants, has a new addition to its popular Main Street, a thriving vertical farm. I'm Alex Thompson, owner-operator, Montecito Urban Farms. Alex set up 60 tower gardens in a former parking lot that today produce a wide variety of crops. From seedlings to harvested vegetables, his farm delivers fresh produce to seven local restaurants every day. So this is a tower garden. Can you tell me how it works? It's a vertical aeroponic system. There's a simple fountain pump at the bottom that pumps the water to the top where there's a shower cap. And then the water is essentially misting and raining down through the center column and getting all the root systems. It'll just be easier if I show you. How about I pull this out? OK. Look at how healthy and strong these root systems are here. Wow. And the water, every 15 minutes, is just washing over these roots. Is it ready to be harvested? Yeah, this is ready to either be fully harvested for a restaurant, or you could just start harvesting and eating it. Delicious. We have one restaurant here that it's garden to mouth and 50 feet. So I want to check that out. Dan, we're here in Cafe Luna. What different kind of produce do you buy? We buy kale, we buy um, arugula, we buy chives. Did you get more customers when you made the switch? Absolutely, yes. And what do they say? Uh, they're saying that things pop. The bully salad? They taste just fabulous. I heard you have a really great smoothie. I'd love to try it. We do. It's made with the kale from uh, directly next door. So tell me how it works. Tell me what goes in it. How do you do this? OK, so we're going to start with the almond milk. Tear some of that kale off, about a handful. All right. The same amount of spinach. An entire banana in there. Cinnamon. Protein powder. That is health in a glass. Delicious. I just landed here in O'Hare International Airport. I'm starving. I hear there's a rumor that there's a vertical farm here that feeds 10,000 people every single year. Let's go find it. It's like a secret garden in the middle of an airport. It's totally amazing. How many towers do we have going on here? We have 26 towers in this garden, and uh, each tower has 44 plants. So we're growing lots and lots of different herbs. You can see we've got basil, we've got cilantro, um, and then we have lots of end sage over here. We're providing locally grown produce for restaurants that operate at the airport. So we just picked some fresh produce. Then we're going to go to Wicker Park and make some sushi. Hi, I'm Costa. Great Hi, to Costa. Meet you. I'm Brad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I picked some stuff upstairs. Excellent. Can we make something with it? We sure can. What we do is in the morning is we'll go through the garden and we'll select what needs to be harvested for the day. Do people notice the taste? Does the taste different? Absolutely. This roll is produced with some of the chives and lettuces that we harvested from the garden earlier. Mmm. Like it? Super <laughs> fresh. Thank you. It's so good. Go ahead. Help yourself. I know you're hungry. I'm gonna eat all. Tower gardens are so new, it's hard to determine what kind of impact they're going to have on a nationwide scale when it comes to feeding our country. But here at this preschool, kids have been eating from tower gardens for the last few months. I like to eat, eat, eat kale from our garden. Hope for Kids Preschool is the first preschool ever to have a commercial tower garden farm. Do you know what these are? Tower gardens! I want to know what everyone's favorite vegetable is. Mine is lettuce. Um, lettuce? Um, um, Carrots. Uh, tomatoes. Yours is tomatoes. Gracie, what do you want to pick? Um, Arugula? <laughs> Let's pick some right here. One day we're at the supermarket, and this was after the tower gardens appeared, and she grabbed a sugar pea and started eating it, and I thought, wow, I can't believe she's doing this. Did you eat snap peas off our tower garden? No. You didn't eat the snap peas off the tower garden? No, we ate them 
on. They'll ask if they can have some kale or some lettuce uh -huh. or some cilantro, and the teacher will go up and they'll say, sure, I'd love to. So they'll help them pull it off, and we go wash it, and off they go, running in the sandbox with a piece of kale sticking out of their mouth. What's your favorite? Arugula. <laughs> it's eating the, the aphids. It's eating the aphids. Aphids. What do you think the global impact would be if, if every kid was had access to these in, in school? I believe it would seriously shut down fast food as we know it because people would learn the value of eating healthy. Only on Al Jazeera America. A team of scientists are taking their inspiration from nature. Technology is a vital part of who we are. They had some dynamic fire behavior. And what we do. Transcranial direct stimulation. Don't try this at home. Techno's team of experts show you how the miracles of science. This is my selfie. What can you tell me about my future? Can affect and surprise us. Sharks like affection. Catch new episodes of Techno on Al Jazeera America. Check your local listings or visit aljazeera.com.